all this is Simon from bowenguitar.co.uk and this is part three of my tutorial on how to play Studying E Minor by Fernando Sawyer, Opus 6, number 11 and also study number 17 in the 20 Studies for Guitar Saw Segovia edition. Uh, now in the previous video we ended at bar 18 and that's where I'll resume. So we finished with our first finger on the fifth string, second fret, first finger on the um, first string, second fret, and the third finger on the second string, third fret. So we, we actually finished the last tutorial with little finger goes down onto that first string. Now moving into bar 19, that little finger slides up two frets to A on the first string, fifth fret, and the first finger plays the sixth string, second fret, F sharp. So, uh, we also need the third finger, which is a bit of a stretch, on that third string, fifth fret. So we're now playing the sixth string, fourth string, third string, first string. And then, so the complete sequence for that bar 19 is six, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three, one, four, three. So it's. Now bar 19 can be an awkward one to get the fingers on, depending on how much stretch you have in the uh, left hand. But always remember when you're playing a, an arpeggio piece that you do not need to finger block chords. So you can always finger the notes in the order uh, they come in the music. So for instance, on bar 19, we're using the little finger as the guide finger up to the A, and then we're playing the F sharp on the sixth string. So we've got two notes to play before we need to get that third finger down so we can play so that would be third finger down and then so coming from bar 18 it would now be it helps to make it smoother as well so now into bar 20, all we need to do now is slide the first finger and the little finger up one fret. So the first finger is now at the third fret and the little finger is at the sixth fret on the first string. So the first beat of bar 20 is the two outer strings, fourth string, second string, open. And on the second beat, that little finger slides up again to the seventh fret. So we're playing first, fourth string, second string, first, four, second. So the first three beats of bar 20 are, and the last beat of bar 20 is the sixth string followed by fourth, third, um, six, four, three. So bar 20 is, Keep the little finger down on that first string, but drop it back to the third fret. Always try and follow these guide fingers, or right, work where you can keep a finger on and slide it from fret to fret. Uh, so bar 20, we're playing the open sixth string, the open third string, the open second string, and then the first string. So uh, bar 21, I should say, is. Then on the last beat of bar 21, the second finger goes down onto the fourth string, second fret, and we're playing the fourth and first strings together, followed by third string and second string. So bar 21 is. And bar 22, the little finger moves back up to the fifth fret on the first string A, and we need the first finger on uh, the fifth string third fret C, the second finger on the third string fifth fret C, and also the third finger next to it on your second string at the fifth fret, uh, giving us an, an E. So that so the first two beats of bar 22 now are playing the uh, fifth string and the first three strings. That's five, three, two, one, three, two. On 
the third beat of bar 22 we're moving the little finger up to the eighth fret don't take it off just slide it up to that eighth fret giving us c on the first string and we're doing a half bar chord at the fifth fret um, giving us c on the third string e on the second string so now we're playing the open fifth third second first third second so bar 22 is Um, you can also play that, and this is how it's fingered in the uh, Saw Segovia edition. We can actually do um, a partial bar at the fifth fret and play the bass note of C on the sixth string eighth fret. Then bring that little finger over onto the first string at the eighth fret and play. In. So that's an alternative. That's how I actually play it in the video. Um, I play that ever since I learned this piece from the Soy uh, edition, the Soy Segovia edition, and that's how Segovia fingered it. Um, now, I, I think I would actually revert back to the way I've just been showing you. Which I think now is actually easier to play, but I'm so conditioned into playing. So I'll, I'll, I'll just keep playing it like that now. Um, so now, at bar 23, our little finger drops back down to that F sharp on the second fret of the first string. And we place the third finger on the A on the third string second fret and the second finger on the C on the second string first fret. That's giving us a D7 chord. Um, so now we're playing, we're, and we're doing the, that with that finger in order to leave the first finger free for the last beat of the bow where we have to land onto the D sharp on the fourth string. So we're now playing bar 23 is the first four strings. On beat four, drop the first finger down and we're playing the fourth and first string together. So that is now... Keep your third finger down on the A, keep the little finger on the F sharp, and we put the second finger on the fourth string second fret E, and the first finger onto the C on the first fret second string. And now we play on the first beat, we're playing um, the fourth string and first string together, third string, second string, and then the little finger moves up to the G at your third fret. Keep the second finger down on the E, but remove the first finger and the third finger to get, take us to G, open, third, open, second string. So that's, then you play the first three strings again. And on the last beat, we're playing the fourth string, third string and second string. So bar 24 is... Bar 25, uh, we need a partial bar chord at the first fret, which will give us a, a G sharp on the third string, an F natural on the first string. We want the second finger on the second string, uh, sorry, on the fifth string, second fret B, and the little finger on the second string, third fret. So we're playing the fifth string, third, second and first, so it's five, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two. So bar 25 is. Keep that partial bar chord on and we're moving the third finger onto the fifth string third fret C and the second finger on to the um, third string, second fret A, and the little finger stays on as well. So the first beat, now this is, this can be a bit of a tricky beat. So the first beat is the fifth string and first string, third string, 
and second string. So the first beat is. Now, keep your third finger down to sustain the bass note. Keep the second finger on and place the first finger now just on C on the first fret of the second string. So we're now playing the open first string, third string, second string. So we're now playing that second finger slides up to the fifth fret and we put the third finger next to it on the second string fifth fret and the little finger next to that on the first string fifth fret and we're now playing the fifth string open and the first three strings so bar 26 is I'll play that again Bar 27, drop the second finger back a fret to the fourth fret, third string giving us B. Leave the little finger on and we're doing a partial bar chord at the third fret. Uh, that's giving us the D and the G on the second and first strings. So we're now playing the fourth string and first string together. Third, second, lift the little finger off on the second beat to give us our G which is covered with the bar. So that is. And now keeping the fingers in position, drop them to the first fret, put the little finger back down on the first string, third fret, and we're playing the first string, third string and second string. And then we need F sharp on the first string, second fret. So bar 27 is. Bar 28, the third finger moves up to the third fret first string. Second finger across onto the sixth string, third fret, giving us a G chord. We play the two outer strings. Third, second, fourth string. Um, first finger on the fifth string, second fret. Back to the open fourth string and third string and second string. So bar 28 is. Playing the bass note on the bar 29 on the sixth string. And now um, we can place a finger on the second string, third fret. We're going to slide that finger up to the 12th fret on the second string. So I don't know if you can see that. So that is. Then the last note we play on bar 29 is at the 10th fret, second string, giving us A. So bar. 28 and 29 are our G chord. Uh, so now from bar 18, um, we have Bar 20 21 Bar 22 23 24 25 26 27 by 
our 28 G chord. And now over to the uh, right hand. Right, now to continue with the right hand, um, this varies slightly from um, the first two sections in that we have one or two spread right hand patterns, uh, which can be a bit awkward. Um, so the, the 8 bar 18 starts straightforward, where we're just playing on the first three strings with the, the right hand fingers and the bass is with the thumb. Now bar 19, we have to spread the fingers. So I play thumb, thumb, index finger, and then the third finger playing the first string. So that's. Bar 20 will be Again, thumb. Now I play on this, we're back onto the first two strings. So I'm using the index finger, the middle finger. So I'm playing it as. Um, on the last beat, dro dropping down to the thumb, playing the sixth string, index finger playing the fourth, middle finger playing the um, third string. So bar 20 is. Bar 21 is pretty straightforward, you're just playing on the first three strings again. Just continue the same way. Nothing really unusual going on on these sections. Um, so the really the, the awkward bars in this section are bars 19 and 20 where we do change the, the right hand string slightly. So that is bar 19, thumb, thumb, index and third finger. Then I use index finger and middle finger. Um, it's interesting to speculate that probably how Sawyer would have played this piece um, because in his tutor, in his method, he mentions that he very, very rarely uses his third finger. So is it possible that he played the majority of this piece just with thumb and two fingers? It is quite feasible that you can do this um, and it's maybe worthwhile experimenting with that uh, fingering. Um, I don't use any rest strokes when I'm playing this piece. Um, one or two players on the, the longer notes will play maybe a rest stroke. You know, or, or maybe. But on this an arpeggio piece, I like to, if possible, just keep it in three strokes. If you just twist the hands slightly, you can get a, quite a full sound in three strokes. In your normal position, you probably, it'd be probably. Just move it around slightly. And you get a nice, fuller, warmer sound. Um, so that's where I'll leave this uh, tutorial today. Um, at bar 29. And I hope to see you on the next video. Remember, uh, music and tabs are available free uh, from my site, www.bolton.com.
guitar.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.